Well, hi babies, it is Mama Star. Anyway, today's makeup tutorial is, I guess, all about um, Princess Jasmine. So probably like two weeks ago, I was um, at Disneyland in California. And uh, during that time, they did uh, Aladdin 2019 came out. So I did watch it when I came back here in Vancouver, like in Canada, and I just got so inspired with that um, with that movie that I decided to make this uh, video on uh, Princess Jasmine's makeup. Um, I know I might be late in the game, but still, you know, um, maybe there are people out there that are wanting to uh, recreate that look. It may not be exactly like Princess Jasmine, but sort of close to it so anyway if you are interested oh my god i feel like i can talk today anyway if you feel like you want to watch this video and you want to you know come up with a few maybe tips not even tricks um uh stay tuned um continue watching please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos so to start off i am using the ordinary um, plant derived um, surface hydration to moisturize my face now back again to the ordinary I am using the eye adherence silicone primer so pretty much what this does it is a blurring um, or a surface smoother and a primer so for the next product that I am using, I am um, using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy um, Base Tint. So pretty much what it does, it gives me that glow, uh, glowy finish that I like or that glowy look that I like. Now I am using the BLK Cosmetics um, Concealer and the shade that I am using is Honey. Now to contour my face, I am using Bobbi Brown. It is the Skin Foundation Stick and the shade is Espresso or number 10. So another Bobbi Brown product, so it is again a foundation, skin foundation stick and this color is 4.5 or warm and natural. Now for my full face foundation, I will be using the MAC Go Long Wear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and the shade that I, I am using is the NC37. So initially I applied the foundation with a brush and then I fin tried to finish it off with my beauty blender just so to make sure that everything stays in place. Next product would be my Urban Decay Velvetizer, just to make sure that I kind of still the deal with my makeup when it doesn't I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus 3-in-1 Primer Water to prep and set my um, foundation in place. Now for my eyelids, instead of using um, an eyelid or an eyeshadow primer, I am using the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer for my eyelids. Oh, 
Okay, so for my eyeshadow, I will be using the In My In Love palette. Unfortunately, I don't have the name of the shade that I am using, but pretty much it is close to my natural skin color. And for my transition color, um, I will be using again my Inglot palette and it will be more of like the orangey brown color that I am using. Again, so sorry that I don't have the shade, um, uh, the shade name for my Inglot uh, eyeshadow palette. So using the same palette for that I used earlier for my transition shade, I will be using that brown color for my crease line. Um, I'm not trying to make it really dark, so I really want to um, just create a, a, a very soft crease for my eyeshadow. Now for a little um, nice shimmery look for my eyelid, I will be using the Nat Natasha Denona and that shade is Linen. Now to line my upper lash line, I will be using the uh, my black uh, shade from Inglet um, Eyeshadow. Uh, you can use pretty much any um, black shadow that you want to uh, create that line on your upper lash if you want to use a pencil that's okay too it's just for me i just want to use this black uh, shadow for my lip. i will be using um, the dark brown uh, color of the eyeshadow for my um, lower lash line i don't want it too dark so hence i'm using the brown eyeshadow for the lower lash now to highlight my brow bone, I am using the Give It To Me Straight Color Pop Palette and I am using the shade Matter of Fat. Now to define my lash, my upper um, lash line, I will be using the Amaterasu Liquid Eyeliner. It's the 24 hour formula and the color is just black. I am um, putting a little wing on the end of my lash but not too much I mean my liner um, but not too much and now for my eyebrows I am using the Amaterasu liquid brow liner um, the all day wear and the color that I am using would be the brunette uh, I mean, the shade that I'm using would be the brunette to hide that discoloration under my eye, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape um, Contour Concealer under my eye and the shade that I'm using is Light Medium Honey. Now to fully contour my face, I am using the Marc Jacobs Number 20 Dream Filter. So um, I am using the brown shade or the darker shade to contour my nose and also my cheekbones and everything else that needs to be contoured. Now to get that little bronzier, um, I guess finish on my face, I will be using the Ellis as a bronzer unfortunately I don't have a shade color for this as I, I have removed the sticker okay now for my blush I am using my Ben Nye press color palette I'm using different colors or different shades I mix them up to create the um, shade that I want for my cheek so something more of like an orangey pinkish color nothing too dark or bronzy now 
now for my highlight i am using my favorite glow getter highlight um so pretty much i use it to highlight my cheekbones but before i forget um let's use some oil so dab it on to uh, your face with a beauty blender i use oil just so my highlighter would prop the wood stick a little bit more would last longer because typically if i just use the highlighter on its own maybe in like a few hours it's like it's almost gone uh, but when i do use oil as a base then it lasts a little bit longer now for my lip liner i am using my rimmel london last thing finish um thousand kisses stay on lip contouring pencil and the color or the shade that i am using is number 21 which is the red dynamite now for my lipstick i am using gerard cosmetics fire engine and this is pretty much going to be like my red base color before i put on the second shade um, for my lipstick to create that princess jasmine reddish orange uh, color now for my second shade i am using my mac lipstick and the shade that i am using is amplified And now to finish off my look, I am using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Natural Finish Setting Spray to set everything in place. So I'm all done with my makeup and thank you so much babies for watching. So this is my Jasmine inspired um, makeup tutorial. So I've got all my gadgets here, <laughs> not really my gadgets, but Here's my lamp, and here's a boo. I don't have my tiger, but obviously I do have that bracelet that, you know, started this whole thing between Aladdin and Jasmine. So, I hope you enjoyed my uh, video today, and I will try to post more videos as much as I can. Like I said earlier, it has been quite a busy um, few months for me and um well anyway i do hope that you subscribe and then you like my videos and uh if you do have any suggestions comments or um would like me to do some other type of makeup please please feel free to message me or post on my comment um anyway again this is mama star thank you so much for watching my video till next time let's see what another disney inspired video i'm gonna be making so have yourself a wonderful, wonderful, magical